Hey, this is Heather from the Renaissance English History Podcast, and this is your Tudor Minute for April the 19th. Today, in 1587, we have Drake's raid on Cadiz. For years, Francis Drake had annoyed the King of Spain by attacking and pirating their ships coming back from the New World with South American cochineal gold and silver. Then he was knighted by Elizabeth, which surely must have angered Philip in Madrid even more. But the final straw came in April 1587, today, when Drake raided the port of Cadiz and successfully delayed the Spanish Armada from invading England for a good year, giving England all that time to prepare for the invasion. So at this time in 1587, everyone knew that the Armada was coming. It wasn't a secret. Philip didn't even want it to be a secret. He wanted the Catholics in England to get ready to rebel. Spain was the most powerful country in the world, so how could England, this tiny outpost on the edge of the world, do anything to stop it? So there was no point in England even trying to prepare, right? Elizabeth's advisors wanted her to strike early and send Spain a message that they weren't going to be so easily messed with. Elizabeth dithered and dathered, as was her MO. She finally sent Drake on a mission to do some piracy. He left in mid-April with 25 ships, mostly financed from merchants in London, who were considered investors and would be rewarded proportionally to the amount of money that they put in. He was originally going to go to Lisbon, where the Armada was reportedly gathering, but he found that all of the supply ships were in Cadiz, further south on the Atlantic coast, so he decided to strike there. His instincts were right. The harbor was protected by towers that could fire down on any ship trying to enter, but he kept his sails lowered until the very last minute and then raised them and found 60 ships ripe for the picking. 20 of them were French, who skedaddled out as quickly as they could, but that still left close to 40 Spanish ships who were anchored and unable to defend themselves. Drake was able to capture between 20 and 30 of them, along, of course, with all of their supplies, and it successfully gave England a year to prepare for the Armada, and it also lifted their spirits. And we refer to it now as the singeing of the king's beard. That's your Tudor Minute for today. Remember, you can dive deeper into life in 16th century England through the Renaissance English History Podcast at englandcast.com, where we did a series several years ago on the relationship between England and Spain leading up to the Spanish Armada.